Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. It is that time again for another empties video. I have so many products in my empties bin. It is filled to the brim. I've been hanging on to my tubes and tubs and bottles for y'all, but I cannot do it any longer because now when I put things in this bin, they immediately fall out. So that's when I know it's probably time to film an empties video so that I can actually discard these and then start filling it up again. So as always with my empties videos, we are going to be covering all things beauty in this video. I have hair care, skin care, body care, and makeup items that I have completely used up. My opinions are fully formed and I will let you know if it's something that I would recommend, repurchase, etc., or if it's something that I think you should just really run from and run from quickly. So we are going to jump right into that, but before we do, you guys know the drill. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and drop a comment below. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm. Instagram and TikTok handles are right here. You should definitely come follow me on both of those platforms and everything that you could possibly need from me will be listed in my description box below, including Lightroom presets for editing your Instagram photos, merch, discount codes, links to all of these products and other things, timestamps, and I think that's about it. All right, let's jump into it. All right, we're gonna organize this video by category, starting off with skincare. So the very first skincare empty that I have is the Hyaluronic Acid Gel Cream from Tree. So this is an Asian skincare brand. They have a lot of products that I really enjoy that I think are great. And this is one of them. I do think it's really nice. So this says it has five types of hyaluronic acid, has some really nice hydrating and calming ingredients in it, and the formula is great if you like a gel-like formula. It's very lightweight, it's not sticky or tacky, it feels really, really nice and hydrating on the skin. But I realized that this kind of feels more like a serum to me than a moisturizer because as you rub it in, it does really start to thin out and almost go a little bit watery or serum-y on the skin. So while I think it feels really nice, for me personally, it's just not quite occlusive enough to work as a moisturizer. So if you wanted something that had all those different kinds of hyaluronic acid and great ingredients, plus it's fragrance and essential oil free, I think that you could use this underneath a little bit of a thicker moisturizer, lock in that hydration, and it will really make your skin glow in a non-greasy way. But if you're looking for just an all-in-one moisturizer, not gonna be for you if you have dry skin. If you're super oily, you would probably love it, but I feel like anywhere from normal to dry, probably wouldn't be quite enough. So I have combo skin that leans oily for reference throughout this video, keep that in mind. But yeah, this one I won't repurchase even though I do think it's good. Okay, next up we have another Asian skincare product. This one is from Shiseido Anessa and it's called their Moisture UV Sunscreen Mild Milk for Sensitive Skin. So this is an SPF 35 and it has a PA rating of plus, plus, plus. That is one of the reasons, not to spoil it, but to spoil it, that I will not be repurchasing the sunscreen. I just have other sunscreens that have higher SPF, SPF 50, and a higher PA rating as well, so I'm getting better sun protection from those sunscreens. The formula is really nice. It's definitely not your standard Asian sunscreen. Asian sunscreens are typically very liquidy and runny, obviously not all of them, but that is definitely the norm for an Asian sunscreen, and this one is quite a bit thicker and creamier than those. I do feel that you get a slight, slight white cast with this, so if you had really dark skin, I don't think this would work for you, but I feel like the formula is just a little bit too thick and creamy for my personal preference for everyday use. For the winter time, if you have dehydrated skin or dry skin, I think this would be something you'd absolutely love. I mean, dry skin, you would love this year round probably, but for me, I'm just like, ah, I like something that's a little bit more lightweight and feels a little bit more traceless on the skin. So another one that I think is good, but that I will not personally repurchase. All right, next up is a product that I don't really feel like I need to spend much time on at all because I have raved about this over and over on my channel. You guys are probably sick of me talking about it, but it truly is one of my holy grail skincare products and it is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. So this is an ointment that can be used in a lot of different ways. It has really replenishing and hydrating ingredients in it, which is not always the case with ointments like that. So that definitely sets this one apart compared to others like let's say Aquaphor. But gosh, is this the, is my voice okay? This is the best nighttime eye cream that I have ever used and I will use this forever, of course, unless something comes out that's even better. But for the time being, this is my nighttime eye cream. It's occlusive. It's really going to lock in that moisture and especially around the eyes where we're really prone to fine lines. I need the additional help start as soon as you can, you know? Like I'm getting on top of it now. But I also love this because it's not just something that I use as a nighttime eye cream. I use it on my lips, it's so nice for that. And I also really like to use this whenever I have dehydrated skin, patches of flaky skin, to help my skin to heal more quickly. So 
You guys already know, I would highly recommend this. I already have one of the huge tubs in my bathroom and I had it ready and waiting for me for the second that this ran out because I cannot live without this. And I just won't, I refuse. Next, we have another sunscreen. This is something that I did not fully use up, so I will be giving it away. It is the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte Formula. This is an SPF 45. It says that it is ultra sheer, fragrance free, water resistant for 80 minutes. And of course it says that it's matte, but it's not matte at all. And I was really, really excited when I first saw this because I was like, oh my gosh, a drugstore sunscreen that's affordable, that has SPF 45, that's not going to look shiny and greasy on the skin because I know that so many people struggle to find a sunscreen that doesn't make them look really shiny throughout the day. So I was so excited for this, but it is the most confusing formula for that title. I feel like this is something that actually makes your skin look a little bit shiny. The formula is just kind of greasy. It's so bizarre. So <laughs> I feel like the only reason that I'm super let down by this is because the formula doesn't match the title at all. This is something that I would recommend using if you have dry skin. You will love it if that's the case. If you have oily skin, you're not going to enjoy this. So I would avoid if that's the case. If you really want to see this formula in action, I have an entire video on the three different black girl sunscreens. So this one, their original formula and their kids formula as well the original and kids are where it's at, not this. So I'll list that below, but this is just one that I personally, I wouldn't recommend, won't rebuy. All right, the last skincare product is another that I feel like I really don't need to talk about much at all because I've talked about it 5 million and one times at this point. You guys are probably very sick of me talking about this. If you're sick of me talking about the healing ointment, then you have had enough of me with this product. It's the Dermatology Needleless Serum. It is my holy grail nighttime serum. It's the only serum I use at night. It's just the best. It has so many amazing ingredients in it for replenishing the skin, for anti-aging, for calming and soothing and protecting. It's just, if you're looking for an all-in-one serum so that you don't need to have several different products to get at different ingredients, this is the one for you. I do have a 20% off discount link with Dermatology. I always have it linked in the description boxes of my videos. You don't have to use that, of course, but if you would like 20% off of your purchase, click through that link and then you'll see the 20% off at checkout. So not a code anymore, it's a link. I use it to save some money. I use my own code <laughs> because I keep rebuying this because it's just, it's the best. It's that girl. Okay, let's move on to body care empties next. So this is a body lotion that I have from Shea Moisture. It's called their Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Body Lotion. And I'm still torn on my thoughts on this product because I feel like half the time that I used it, I really enjoyed it. It made my skin feel moisturized all day. It wasn't sticky or, you know, how some lotions just stay kind of wet and like stick to your clothes. None of that with this. But the other half of the times that I used this, I feel like it was so difficult to work with and I couldn't get it to fully rub in or blend into my skin and it never fully absorbed. And I don't understand why that would be. That makes me feel like it's a me problem because if I could get it to work well half the time, what was I doing the other half? I just couldn't quite figure it out. And then I got to the end of it and I was like, uh, I don't know. I think this is the only time I don't know about a product by the time I finished it, but the ingredients are really, really good. I like the smell of it. Mm, it does have a very nice smell. I mean, the frankincense and myrrh that it says on here, if you don't like that kind of smell, then you won't like this, but I think it smells good. But I just, I think I'm not going to repurchase it because I have other body lotions and creams that I never have issues with. So it's like, why would I buy something that I can't get to work for me half of the time, you know? But I don't think it's a bad product. Do I even need to? I debated even including this in this video because I feel like every other empties video I have, I talk about this product, but that goes to show how much I use it. But I feel like I have to in case I have anybody new watching and you don't know the magic of this body cream. <laughs> this is the Cetaphil Body Moisturizing Cream. I obviously am obsessed because I have two tubs and just one empties video and I've had it in several other empties videos in the past. But this, none of those issues that I have with the Shea Moisture Body Lotion, this instantly absorbs and dries down. It doesn't stay sticky or wet, but it feels incredible. It's so moisturizing. It's the perfect thickness. I would say it leans more body butter than anything in the most amazing way possible. And this just, it's basic. I know it's not super, you know, luxurious or fancy or anything like that, but it's one of the absolute best body moisturizers I have ever used and it's affordable. So 
I would highly recommend this. I just can't, I can't live without this one either. And this is my favorite body moisturizer for locking in self tan. So if you feel that your self tan color fades quickly, try using this as a body lotion. I promise it'll help. All right, next up is a body sunscreen. This is the Banana Boat Light Is Air Weightless Protection Sunscreen Lotion with SPF 50. I get so confused by these bottles because they have different titles in like every spot. I'm like, what is this actually called? It's their light as air sunscreen. We'll call it that. And this says it absorbs quickly and is non-greasy. And I completely agree with that. It is so, so, so lightweight. And it instantly dries down into the skin so that you don't have any of those sticky, unpleasant issues that body sunscreen sometimes have. And it's water resistant for 80 minutes. So this was just a sunscreen that I used all summer on my body. I would highly recommend it. This is such a good one. If you're somebody that likes to work out outside, go on runs, you get really sweaty and you don't want to have to worry about a sunscreen dripping. I had that happen to me the other week and I, <laughs> I wanted to puke. It was the most disgusting feeling. It said it was water resistant and it completely melted off me. So you won't have that issue with this. You got to try it. All right. Last body care item is a self tanner from Tanologist. This is their express tan self tan water. This one right here is in the shade medium. I do personally prefer their dark shade, which is the purple packaging, not the blue. I think medium is good if you want a subtle self tan look, but you guys probably know at this point, I'm never going for subtle. So I still have other Tanologist products in the dark color, but this water formula, while I think it's really good, is not the one that I reach for anymore. I do definitely prefer their mousse. For a while, I felt like they were tied. I couldn't decide, but over time I was like, eh, I do think the mousse is just a little bit easier to use because this is a spray. It's a mist. So I feel like you have to be really careful with how you apply it. It's not as easy to tell where you have applied the product already because you don't have that wet mousse formula to guide you. But if you really like the mist kind of watery self tan formula, and you want one that doesn't have a color guide that gives you a really pretty color, then I do think that their self tan waters are a really good product, but I just like the mousse better. All right, let's move on to hair care empties next. So this is from Living Proof. It's called their full dry volume blast. It says it gives instant lasting volume and texture and that it's a styling and finishing spray. So this is a great volumizing texture enhancing spray because it adds volume and it adds texture, but it doesn't give you gritty, yucky texture. You know how some texturizing sprays just leave gunk in your hair? It feels like you have gunk in your hair. That's not the case with this product. I do think that it's really good, but I just never use volumizing sprays like this anymore. When I used to, it would just be towards the root. I never apply products like this towards the end of my hair. If I want volume and texture, then I'll use like a sea salt spray or a wet texture mist, not a dry aerosol like that but I just feel that I get plenty of volume from a dry shampoo, so I don't need to spend extra money on a product like this to use on top of dry shampoo, you know? Wow, that does smell so good. So again, same old song and dance here, not a bad product, just an unnecessary product for me. Next, I am so proud to have a shampoo and conditioner set in this video. It takes me so long to get through a full set of shampoo and conditioner because I have 5 million of them at this point, obviously to test for you guys, come on. But I also only wash my hair once a week. Sometimes I'll do twice if there's something I'm trying to review, but typically I am once a week only. So it takes me a very long time to get through products like this, but it's time for one. So this is the Kerastase Resistance Shampoo and Conditioner. And this used to be something that I really, really liked but never loved quite as much as some of my other holy grails. So I do still think that it's a good set, but compared to other things that I talk about all the time, like Pureology Strength Cure, Amika the Cure, I think that those are better for sure, and that this just doesn't do anything extra to my hair, that those don't already do even better if that makes sense. So good formulas. This shampoo I think is actually a really good one if you have greasy hair, really oily hair because it's a clear formula. So it's not that creamy kind of formula that will often leave the hair looking a little bit greasy more quickly. Really good option for that and just kind of a good solid conditioner that has a nice amount of thickness. <laughs> what was that? Has a nice amount of thickness and kind of you know, slip and conditioning benefit to it, but it's not too thick and heavy, not so lightweight that you don't feel the hair's getting conditioned. It's just good, it's solid, but it's not something I'll repurchase because there's things that I think are absolutely much better. Ooh. 
Next hair empty that I'm clearly very excited about is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat Slash UV Protective Primer. So this, I love this product so much. This is another one of those all-in-one sprays that I just love so much. I, I like anything all-in-one, you know, who am I kidding? But this is something that you can use for a lot of different purposes. So you can use it after you wash your hair to help to detition, <laughs> detangle and condition detition the hair you can use it to prime the hair before you blow dry to give heat and uv protection you could use it midweek to help to kind of refresh the hair and recondition without weighing it down it's just so so nice and i feel like it's the perfect thickness because it's not so lightweight that you feel like it's not really conditioning the hair it's just kind of in the middle but it's not too heavy to where it's going to weigh it down so I already have another bottle of this. This is one of those that I feel I can't live without either. There's a lot of those in this video, but I really, really do love this and I would definitely recommend it. Next up is a hairspray. So this is from IGK. It's called their 1-800 Hold Me No Crunch Flexible Hold Hairspray. So you get heat protection up to 450 degrees and it says it's high shine and has micro light reflectors in it. So I used to really, really love this. I think it's a great hairspray. It doesn't give you any crunchy, weird feeling, no residue. Is it maximum hold? Definitely not, but it gives you a decent amount of hold without the gross feeling of a lot of hairsprays, and it definitely does make the hair look shiny and pretty. So I really liked that, but I do not use hairspray at all anymore. It's honestly been months and months since I've used hairspray, so I won't repurchase this because I just don't have the need anymore. The reason why I don't need to is because I now use overnight curling what are they even called? Not tools, not... I use things like the Octo Curl overnight to create curls for me. And for whatever reason, that, maybe because I'm just sleeping in it overnight, keeps my curls intact and allows them to last for days without hairspray. So don't need hairspray anymore. Don't need you. But I think it's a good one. Last hair care empty is a hair mask that I love so much. It's from Brio Gio. It's called their Be Gentle, Be Kind avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask and it is so nice the smell of this you guys the tub still smells like it oh my goodness it smells so yummy and fresh i love it and it has a really really nice creamy conditioning formula this is protein free so i think that that's a great option for any of you that have low porosity hair or protein sensitive hair or if you have protein buildup on the hair like i used to this is a great option to add conditioning to the hair without added proteins. But a downside to this is that it doesn't have added silicone. So I don't feel that this is the best mask for detangling the hair. So if you have really fine hair, if you have hair that's very susceptible to tangles, you probably will want something that does have added silicones to help with that because this just doesn't quite do it for me. But for deep conditioning the hair, I do think that it's really, really good. So that is one that I would definitely check out if you want a protein-free option. Time for makeup. First up is a foundation that is well-known and well-loved. It is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is absolutely beautiful. I actually still have another bottle because when I really, really love a foundation, when it's one of my holy grails, I will buy it in two shades, one for winter time when I don't have self tanner on and one for summertime when I do. That's how you know I really love something and that is one of these foundations. So this has really nice, I know they say medium to full coverage and I do agree, you could sheer this out to medium but I feel like you pretty much get full coverage right away but it's not in a cakey way. It looks very, very nice on the skin. Gives you a flawless finish but it doesn't look heavy and super makeup-y and it has a really pretty, I would say, demi matte finish. So definitely is not going to be dewy and super glowy but if you wear really nice hydrating serums and moisturizers underneath, put this on top and your skin will come to life if you have oily skin. I feel like not if you have dry skin. So I really do think this is the perfect foundation for anyone that has oily skin, that wants full coverage, but coverage that still does not look like makeup. You know, this is just super pretty. So I do really love this. Second to last is an eyebrow product. So this is called the Maybelline Brow Extensions Fiber Pomade Crayon and this is such a bizarre product. So I originally bought it thinking that this would be really nice to just use for days when I want to throw on eyebrows really quickly. If I'm just wearing sunscreen, no other makeup, maybe I want to go to the grocery store and not look like a naked mole rat. 
those of you that are really blonde and have light brows, you know what I'm talking about. So that's why I got this. I was like, perfect, a thick crayon, we'll just kind of toss them on. But it has these little teensy fuzzies in it, which now that I'm reading that it's a fiber pomade crayon, I'm like, oh, that was intentional, these fibers. And it just freaks me out. Like, I don't understand. At first I thought it was pulling out my eyebrow hairs and they were getting stuck in here. It wasn't until I hit the bottom that I was like, oh, those are supposed to be in there all along with kind of the purpose of making the brows look fuller, but my eyebrows looked a mess whenever I used this. They looked so crazy. I feel like this could work if you already had a nice amount of thickness to the brows, but you wanted a little bit of a darker color. If you're someone like me that has very sparse brows, stay far away from this. It, it made me look crazy. I can't, I can't ever wear this again. And my last makeup empty is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. So I actually included this in a video that I posted recently where I shared my top two favorite makeup products in every single makeup category. So that just goes to show how much I truly love this powder. I'm holding it so weird. <laughs> I will list that video below if you haven't seen that yet, but this really is such an incredible setting powder because for me, I feel like it just does everything that I need a powder to do and nothing more which is a good thing because it sets my makeup in place and allows it to last all day, but it doesn't do so in a drying way. It doesn't make my skin look really matte. It doesn't feel dry on the skin. It doesn't settle into lines or make me look creasy or crepey. It's not cakey looking on the skin. It's just perfect. It's very lightweight. It's a loose powder, by the way and I love it so much. So this, 100% I'm repurchasing. All right, you guys, those are all the products that I wanted to talk through today, which means that we have made it to the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and had fun hanging out with me today. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these products, if you had a similar experience to me or a totally different experience, I'm super curious. Of course, as always, if you decide to pick anything up after watching this video, let me know what product or products those are. And as always, I will have everything listed in my description box below in order of mention so it's nice and easy and organized for you to find. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click on that notification bell, and send my channel to a friend. Again, all of those things truly help me, so thank you so, so much for your support in doing all of those things. Stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.